No more endless tweaking of knobs and tearing your hair out as you figure what jack goes where on a mixer. You just want to create content and make it sound great. And I think Mackie have a winner on their hands with the DLZ creator. Let's dive in. Okay, it is the Mackie DLZ creator. I am going to call it the DLZ creator, even though I'm British and I should say the DLZ creator, but that just doesn't sound right. So let's stick with Mackie DLZ creator, which is absolutely awesome. I think Mackie really have a winner on their hands. They have taken something and blown it to proportions that really hit the moon. And I'll show you exactly why. This as far as I'm concerned, is an all-in-one. And it's great the way they've segmented their audience. If you are just beginning, they guide you through it. They, they hold your hand with something called Mix Agent. Or if you're a pro, you can tweak everything, like EQ, compression, effects like reverb and delay. It's all there. So how do you set it up? Well, it's really simple. The moment you power it on, it loads up and it comes up with Mix Agent, which is essentially telling you where to plug things. It tells you, hey, you might want to get some headphones plugged in. Why don't you do that? Then you plug those headphones in. It even helps you to set levels so you don't blow your ears out and you can hear the mix. Then you go ahead and plug in your microphones and line-in devices, USBs, mobile phones, whatever you want. Pretty much you can connect all the devices to this, which is fantastic. After you've done that, you can do things like connecting speakers. You can even connect a computer via USB. And if you want, you can plug in an Ethernet cable and get it connected to the internet for all those really good, decent firmware updates. So what actually happens once you get set? Well, first of all, Mix Agent helps you decide the level of things like microphones. So if you've ever wondered how to set a microphone, you don't need to wonder. Dynamic condenser. It even gives you presets for popular microphones and then you can go in and you can use Mix Agent over here, microphone setup, and you will actually go ahead and look at this. Listen and set for me. Hello there, this is Mike setting my microphone up on the Mackie DLZ Creator. Level is set, now my microphone is at the perfect level for my podcast. As if this wasn't enough, I can go through any channel I want and do that when I'm working in easy mode. So you might hear how the audio improves once you use Mix Agent technology. But what about microphone bleed? Like you tear your hair out when you've got multiple people in a room, they're all sitting close to each other and they've got a bunch of microphones. Look, I've got one just over here as well that's plugged in to the Mackie DLZ creator. And obviously each microphone will pick up the other speaker across the room. Well, no longer with auto mix technology. This is great. And I'm gonna show you how this works. If you hit auto mix here, you will get an auto mix and you can set microphone priority. Now I plugged in this, my main microphone to channel three on the DLZ creator. I've set it as high priority. If I get out of this so you can actually see the levels, you'll see I'm here on channel three, but you'll also see microphone one, which is pretty close to me. Yeah, it's definitely close to me, is picking up quite a lot of microphone bleed. That would be an editor's nightmare. Wouldn't it be great if microphones could be muted out when people aren't speaking, especially when they're in the same room? Well, look at this. In auto mix, I can say my microphone is a high microphone priority because I'm the host. And over here on mic one, well, that's going to be low priority. Now let's have a look. Look at that. Look at how microphone one hardly picks up anything, even though I'm really close to it. Now, if I was like, you know, a couple of meters away, as I should be, really, there's absolutely nothing picked up when it's in low priority. Go to auto mix and switch that low priority off and boom, you already get a huge level coming in from a microphone that really shouldn't be picking up any audio. So that's microphone setup and getting ready for making a really good podcast, online video, or whatever piece of content you're going to create that involves audio. This is brilliant. Something else that really caught my attention when I was setting this up are the headphone preamps. Now, I didn't notice this because when I was in easy mode, nothing happened when I clicked these headphone things. I thought they were just set. You just tweak the volume control like that and you can make your headphone quieter or louder. But when I went into settings and I switched from easy mode to pro mode, which of course is the mode made for me, I quite like tweaking controls and playing with EQs and so on, I suddenly found that when I went back to my home screen, I could click into my headphones, say for instance, headphone one, and I got a mixing board. Now, why is this important? I can go from standard to custom mix, and I can choose exactly which channels get heard by whoever's listening on those headphones. So I could set for, say for instance, only my microphone to be heard by whoever is wearing set of headphones number one. So each different headphone has its own 
own different mix and you can send anything to them. So you can send them just one microphone, a whole mix of the show. You could, for instance, just send microphones to your guests and not the, the music or the background stuff that's going on in your creation. So it really is a very cool feature. And it, I, like I say, it definitely caught my eye when I was playing with that. Another thing that has caught my eye is just how big the screen is on the DLZ Creator. I, it's not like a tiny little LCD kind of like almost phone screen. This is like having like a, a tablet device sitting on top of a mixer and it really does have some fine grain controls. It's easy to see, it's well laid out, all my levels are there for me and I can do so much more with this when I'm in pro mode. So far we've looked at the different headphone amps that can have their individual mixes. We've looked at auto mix which is a great feature that if I press auto mix I can assign priorities to microphones. I can also record to SD card. Here you can see it's flashing. I'm currently recording this video to SD card and you can see that the display comes up. I can disable it and go back to my main screen and I've also covered the fantastic mix agent that helps you get set up in the first place. Sets all your levels for you so you really can set it and forget it. But as as I'm walking through and reviewing the Mackie DLZ Creator, these guys have been in the game, by the way, for over 30 years. So this isn't their first rodeo. I mean, I love some of Mackie's products, particularly I've had a lot of their speakers in my studios over the years and in various different environments. Now I'm excited to look at some of the pro features on here. So I'm going to dive in and I'm going to play around with my microphone. So I think I'll go in and maybe I'll go to the microphone channel here and I'll look and you'll see I've got EQ here. Now this will look very familiar if I go in. Obviously it's completely flat at the moment, sounds great, but I can of course uh, do a high pass filter if I want. So I can just bring that in, enable the high pass filter and listen to how it cuts off more and more of my voice as I go higher. Look, that's cut off a load of the bass frequencies so I can make it as high or as low as I want. Frequency 130 hertz at the moment. And I can obviously adjust these bands here uh, by using the tweaky dials here so I can bring EQ up. I can obviously then move it across with my fingers on the visual screen. I can really really select frequencies I want to work on so I can get that crisp, clear sound that I would like to get using a lovely parametric EQ display. And of course, if I like, I can just use one of the presets. And actually, one of my favorites that I found is the sparkle preset right there. So if I load that, it will give me a nice sparkle. It will remove a little bit around the 1K, which can be a bit obtrusive sometimes on the voice. That sounds great. Next, you've got a noise gate. Now, of course, you need to enable the noise gate by switching on gate, and you'll see that's now active. Gain reduction shows when the gate is working, usually when I go quiet, and I can obviously tweak these settings to make that gate more aggressive. Now it's cutting off some of my words, so I'll tweak it back down again and give myself a gate just when I'm silent the gate kicks in, so that's another great thing. Obviously, I've got compression here. I love compressors, so I can switch on the compression and I can set up all kinds of compression exactly as I would like. So that's rather aggressive compression. I can then go ahead and increase it again and it sounds absolutely fantastic. With the de-esser, I can obviously enable it and then I can set things such as threshold, frequency and range and I can really dial in on where the sibilant sound might be in my voice. So I have all those options available to me. Back at the main setup for my microphone channel, I can grab reverb send and delay send and switch those both up. Now when I get those up, I can actually go ahead and get the effects tab. This again is only available in pro mode and I can go ahead and change all kinds of things like pre-delay, decay, low pass, and of course the reverb level, and I suddenly have a little bit of reverb on my voice. Now if I increase the pre-delay a bit and the decay, I can have a really long reverb, just like that. Isn't that nice? And I can switch it off, like that, and it's off. And then of course I've got the delay effect here, which is also really cool, and I can crank that one up a little bit and start giving us, yes, whoa. A cool delay. Or I can choose presets like space. This. this. Ooh. That, that's the space. space. This is, this is warm. warm. Very, very warm. Very delayed in my headphones as well. So as you can see, there's loads of opportunities here. Plus, of course, you've got uh, the brilliant buttons here. Uh, these buttons here will play sound effects and music. <laughs> like so, or I can loop a music bed. This is a music bed that's in loop mode, so it will go around continuously. And notice how the mix agent has set my microphone and the music levels up correctly. So all my faders can be at unity, essentially at the same level, and my voice sounds powerful. The music is sitting underneath me. Yes, if I want, I can fade that music down a bit and make it less in your face. But 
Really, with Mix Agent and Auto Mix, it's a set and forget technology that even in pro mode allows me to focus on the content I'm making and not having to move faders up and down. Uh, I also want to show, like here on my phone, I can actually connect that, and I have done via Bluetooth. And straight away, I can actually play jingles and fade them up and down as well, which is really cool. So this is playing from my iPhone direct into the Mackie DLZ creator and giving me the ability to play and fade up and down audio that I want to use in my content creation. So it's really good and really handy and everything just works and is at exactly the level I need for creation. So to conclude, what do I like about the Mackie DLZ Creator? Well, first of all, it feels like a big toy. It doesn't feel like a tiny little thing that sits on your desk and you tweak the knobs and they're so tiny you're worried you're going to break it. This feels like a pro-end piece of gear designed and aimed specifically at content creators. It's got a really large screen so you can really visually see what's going on. And that's great when you're editing effects or you want to take a deep dive and really see how everything's set. But it's also great in the fact that when you switch it on and set it up, it says, what are you? Easy, medium or pro? What do you want here from this and if you select easy it will set all the levels on everything up tell you where to plug them in and then you go ahead hit the record button and you start you can go to medium mode and you can kind of do little bits here and there or you can be pro and like me you can play around with the eq the noise gate to your heart's content you can add reverb delay and other effects you can also break out all the different headphones and have four different mixes going to four different people in the same room auto mix allows you to automatically mix microphones so you reduce or pretty much eliminate mic bleed and it's just a really easy and nice piece of gear to use. I've really enjoyed using it and it's not the first time I've used it by the way in this review and tutorial video. I've actually had it for the past month. Mackie were kind enough to send this out to me early and sponsor this video so I'm very grateful for that doesn't impact my view on it. I am really impressed. I think there are some really amazing features in here for creators. And whether you want to deep dive and make things sound incredible using your own audio knowledge, or you want to set and forget and get going straight away, this is an excellent piece of kit for that. If you decide to get involved with a Mackie DLZ creator, I'd love to hear your comments and feedback on how you're getting on. And I'll do my best to answer any questions as well in the comments down below.